What's up guys, West Coast Picks here, and real quick, I'm just going to go an overall review of these locks that Packlock sent me, and Packlock as a company. Uh, the only thing I didn't like about these was the crimped core on these two locks, and guys, I'm just going to reiterate this, that has nothing to do with the security of the lock at all, or the functionality, or any of that. Um, crimped core is it's just a pet peeve of mine, I don't like them, uh, I don't, don't like crimped cores, I like a standard clip on the back of my core. I don't like having to break it to, to take it apart. But if you're just using a lock, I mean, if you're buying a lock and you're putting it on something and using it, these are awesome. They're better than Americans. And I'm just going to go over a couple of reasons why. Um, they come six pin standard. Even this disc lock has six pins in it, which is rare for a disc lock. Normally they're, you know, five at most. Mostly, most of the time they're four. Uh, they all have security pins and three different types of security pins. They randomize them. There's uh, serrated spool and like a mushroom type thing so as you pickers know the more you vary the inside of a lock and the pins the harder they are to pick so these are actually harder to pick you watch me pick a standard american it takes me like a minute minute and a half i'm pretty good at them now these took me like two minutes two and a half minutes they almost doubled the time that it takes to pick one of these just from what they put on the inside so that is awesome as well uh they cannot be bypassed I've tried running a bypass driver down there, and I've since learned that because of the way they designed the core, uh, you can't, there is no actual spot for you to put the bypass driver to actually actuate it. So you can't, you know, you can't reach the cam with one of these tools, so you can't bypass it. Uh, you don't need a wafer. Even an American, if it has a wafer, you can punch a hole in that wafer with a special tool, and you can still use a bypass driver. These ones you can't. Uh, you can't bump them. So playing with these, I've been trying to bump them. And, uh, you know, you got to try even though the advertisement says you can't. And uh, one thing I noticed, I don't know if this is intentional or not, but if you see the key slides in and out normal. Normal, like a two-finger, you know, pretty easy. Pull it in and out. But if you try bumping it, pull it out one click, give it a bump, and now try pulling it out. Jeez, it takes quite a bit more. I mean, like, really, really, really hard to get out after you've tried bumping it. I don't know if that's intentional or not, guys, but that actually stops you from putting a spring or a grommet there and just, you know, machine gun bumping it like you've seen other people do. You can't do it with this, even though it's got a bump stop in it. If it was to work, you can't machine gun it. So that is awesome, too. Um, a little bit more about this disc lock. I didn't realize till after, but they actually weld the inseam there, too, which is not very common. I mean, it takes a special machine to do that, and a pretty expensive machine, I'm sure. And Packlock's actually taken the time and cared enough to do that, and that's pretty awesome. This is probably my favorite disc lock right now. It's a really nice looking lock. And also, I noticed from reading the box, is um, they have a $100 guarantee, which if you can find another Packlock key that'll open this lock, they'll give you 100 bucks, and they'll replace your lock. So what other company you know puts their money where their mouth is, right? That's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, also, these were made in the USA, and that's for, I'm Amer I'm sorry, I'm Canadian, I'm half American, I have my dual citizen, I was born in Canada, and I lived in the States for about six years, but, um, I like to keep my money, <laughs> you know, in North America if I can, and, uh, Packlock is made in the USA, they're not, you know, milled in China and then sent over here and put together, no, they actually have all their own machine, and they do all the milling themselves. These are made in America. And they are manufactured by a small business that employs disabled and disadvantaged workers. So that's another thing to keep in mind. I mean, that alone might make uh, some people want to buy them instead of buying some China lock or something. Um, yeah, so thanks again, Packlock, for, for sending all these locks to me to review and play with. If I sound a little down on these ones, it's only because of the crimped core. And everybody else know that it has nothing to do with the security of a lock. Uh, that's just my personal personal pet peeve is I don't like crimped cores. Um, everybody else, Packlock is listening. They care. And they are, you know, updating their product. They're paying attention to what we're doing. And that is just awesome. I can't think of any other lock manufacturer that does that. So kudos to Packlock. And uh, thanks again, Packlock, for sending all this to me to play with it's been a lot of fun and uh to everyone else go grab a pack lock try it out i mean <laughs> it, you might think it's a standard american clone but they actually are quite different anyway guys have a good one